Now I'm going to be flying the DL Gibby with the 8x4.5 prop and without the wing fences. And then afterwards I'm going to put them on and I'm going to fly it and then I'm going to switch to an, a 10 size prop and I'll fly it with and without the wing fences. And one last change that I did to the airplane, I added the dihedral again, but very, very small amount of dihedral on it. I added the wing fences to see how the affects the flight of the airplane. And one thing is that since I'm guessing that since the wind the wing is so big or so large, broad, it that's what makes the wind take it away so easily. So this airplane does not like wind at all. It flies much better without the wind. Alright, so let's test it out now. One of the wing fans came off. It's fine. Alright, now let's land it and change the prop up. Alright, I changed up the prop and I put the 10 by 45 prop on it. And it looks a little bit big, but let's see how it flies. Wow. Okay, that flies much better. Yep, that flies a lot better. Wow. <laughs> so right now I'm at about half a stick and that keeps the airplane moving pretty quickly. But the other prop Okay, so that was a perfect example of how how strong Depron is. And this is Depron Aero, the new generation of Depron. And that just crashed against the tree and nothing happened to it. So that's pretty good. Now let's do another flight. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's trim that out and bring it back okay now let's do some low passes
Okay, now that the wind went away, let's enjoy flying. And I came back. Let's try and do a loop or a roll. And we'll end it. Okay. So let's do it right in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, that loop that does rolls pretty good. And let's try looping. And one more low pass and we'll end it. Now let's take it up and glide it down to a land. Alright, so as you saw on that last landing, the airplane does not like the wind at all. The wind just came and just flipped the airplane onto the ground and it crashed it. Now, for the prop, I definitely recommend going with the 10 inch prop because you can definitely feel that extra push that it gives the airplane and you really enjoy the airplane a lot more when you're flying with that prop. Now, I added the the dihedro again as I said in the beginning of the video because the airplane was flying great but it needed a little bit more stability so I added the dihedro again but just a bit smaller because in the prototype the version of the of the airplane they were a bit too large and they were making the airplane too stable so I just made them smaller and somebody in the forums asked for the wing fences so I added them to a PDF so all you have to do is just cut two of them out and you just slide it in into the wing like that and yep and, it, and that makes the airplane look much nicer and it gives it a bit more stability so I'm gonna have the link for the PDF just right below in the description and they'll take you directly to a website and they'll have the free PDF download if you haven't seen the build video all you have to do is click the link that you see right here on the screen and I'll take you directly to a build video so that's pretty much it for today's video if you want to see all the coming videos and everything else all you have to do is click that button down there and subscribe thanks for watching bye